Have you guys ever been scrolling down on Country Roll and you just see one anime that catches your eye? The anime that caught my eye today is Blood Blockade Battlefront. It centers around a criminal organization called Libra and their battles in Hell Salem's Lot, formerly known as New York City. Hell Salem's Lot was created when a portal to the beyond opened, becoming a paranormal melting pot of monsters, magic, and the everyday mundane life and it's up to libra to clear the streets of trouble and prevent the horrors of the city to spread to the outside world our main character leonardo watch not the ninja turtle or the artist is living a normal life with his parents and sister but when he attains the all-seeing eyes of the gods at the dispense of his sister's eyesight he goes into hell salem's lot in order to help by finding answers about the mysterious power he receives. Now do you guys know the story, do you guys think they elaborate more each episode about, you know, his sister losing his sight? They do in like the first few episodes, but after that, they completely just disregard it and just decided to give us these B plots for no reason. Throughout season one, we just get these B plots that have nothing to contain to the actual story of the show. Season one is probably the combination of Leo getting kidnapped, rinse and repeat. If you watch this anime, you're going to see that. He gets kidnapped, tied up, he does something or someone helps him, and then boom, season one. That's basically season one of this anime. And now you're thinking, maybe they're not following the manga. No, I looked this up. And guess what? These are literally part of the manga. The only filler character in this show is white. Uh, let me explain. White and black are basically brother and sisters. One has powers, one does it. And the whole story of season one revolves around them. But we only get a chance to get a chance to see them half the time. Half the time is just literally Leo getting kidnapped and these B plots. Season one of this anime was probably the most frustrating things to watch because I had high hopes for it. And the main character doesn't make it any better. Leo is basically a normal kid with supernatural abilities. He can he get a chance to manipulate people's eyesight, everything else. But as a main character, he seemed like a laughing stock, basically. Granted, he's not as powerful as the other members of of libra but it's so frustrating to see him just fail each and every time and basically watching tokyo revengers season one with takamichi is trying but he keeps getting beat up every single time leonardo is basically that he only thing he does in this anime is talk scream talk get beat up talk scream basically the whole plot of season one is him getting tied up like i said and season two ain't even that better because season two elaborates more on the fact that leonardo is there to help his sister but they take half the season to even address that leonardo and his and his sister's problems are not even mentioned in, in season one of this anime i feel like it was just a back burner and season two was nothing else. It was the same thing as season one. Season one is basically a bunch of B plots. And season two was a bunch of B plots. And you get, you get a hint of Leonardo finally realizing why he's there. Why he's there to even help his sister who lost her eyesight because he was too cowardly to take the punishment of losing his eyesight too. Season two is basically uh getting a chance to know every single character in the anime we get a chance to learn about everyone in libra and their backstory and i feel like season two should have been put in season one because that would have made more sense for the story season one should have just got through leonardo's story and then we'll, and maybe have the first season's plot into the second season because the second season is probably the worst of both series and i feel like this series had so much potential, but they wasted it on these B plots instead of progressing the story. And I'm not saying I didn't enjoy them. There's some good ones, but there's not enough to where I'm into the story. 
the plot is just thrown out the way and i like the connection everyone at libra has you know leonardo is basically the weak link out of everybody but is something like connections like season two had a perfect connection between libra i swear the series is only good after the last few episodes that's what he realized oh this is a we have a plot we could continue on this plot but they don't they just go on these b plots and i know i sound like a broken record but that's basically the series this series seems like it didn't want to follow something and then they realize halfway through it's like oh we have a plot so let's continue this plot but they wait until the last few episodes to continue this plot and that's the thing that's frustrating me about this series because you're like okay when is it going to keep going was it we're going to talk about this when are going to talk about that but the main person the main villain in the first episode of season one was barely in season two they don't even they barely come back they barely have anything for them and you you expect me to even care about this this series was such a disappointment to where i feel like i just wasted my time and i don't usually say that about anime because i feel like i was drawn by the cover art the cover art was cool i feel like this series is just cool kid with cool eyes and that's like their only good marketing strategy for this because that's the only cool thing about this when leonardo uses his eyes for something this series felt so draining because i really really enjoyed a few a few episodes but i don't enjoy the other ones i didn't enjoy season one and the power scaling is basically uh dead man wonderland oh there's really cool abilities like someone could turn their blood into ice it's, it's really cool i think the i think the animation in this show was really good but the stories just they just couldn't stick to one thing and season two was basically a something that could have happened in season one and i gotta say this anime was disappointing what do you guys think do you guys agree do you guys disagree make sure you guys hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that like button comment down below your thoughts on the series if you have watched it if you have not and i'll see you guys later peace